What's up, everybody? It's JT Sports. and you guys with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the impact players for the New York Jets going into the 2019 NFL season. So before I begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you like NFL videos and you're a fan of the NFL, I upload NFL videos daily. And also make sure to hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you're always notified when I upload a new video. Now, the first player that I have on this list for the New York Jets is quarterback Sam Darnold. Now, Sam Darnold last year, to me, had a pretty solid rookie year. He had 2,865 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, 15 interceptions, and completed 57.7% of his passes. Now, Sam Darnold should be bound for a better year now. He now has an offensive-minded coach in Adam Gase. And also, his wide receiving core is pretty much the same besides the addition of Jamison Crowder. But hopefully you hope that guys like Quincy Anuma, who was targeted a lot by Sarah Donald, um, develops a little bit more. He's probably going to be the number one wide receiver. Then you got Jamison Crowder in the slot, who is the best wide receiver for the Washington Redskins, despite missing a lot of games. And then you got Robbie Anderson, who is a little bit of a wild card. He's more of a deep threat. And him and Sam Donald had some chemistry going early on in the season. So it's interesting to see how Sam Donald progresses going into year two of his NFL career. Next up, we have halfback Le'Veon Bell, who the New York Jets signed in free agency in this past offseason. Le'Veon Bell, a guy who sat out all of the 2018 season for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We don't have any stats on him, but this guy is a former All-Pro a pro bowler. This guy is a very good running back. He's going to be a very good addition for the New York Jets. Um, He can play wide receiver. He can play running back. I mean, he can just do a lot of things. My biggest question about Le'Veon Bell going into this season is how is he physically? Because I heard that he gained more weight. He ended up being back at 260 pounds, which was what Le'Veon Bell weighed initially when he was first drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers that first season. Then he lost a lot of weight. And now it's interesting to see, man. I want to know how he is physically. Um, and how is he mentally, man? Out of the game for about a year. So it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes Le'Veon Bell to get back to his all-pro form. Now, Jamison Crowder, he was also a free agent acquisition for the New York Jets. He missed seven games last year. He had 388 receiving yards, 29 receptions, and two touchdowns. So he was the Washington Redskins' best receiver when he was helping when he was on the field. And I think he's a pretty good slot wide receiver. And I think him and Sam Darnold are going to have a pretty good year together. Um, now my biggest concern is can he stay healthy because this guy did miss seven games for the Washington Redskins, but if he's able to stay healthy, I think he's going to have a pretty productive year for the New York Jets. And I think he's a pretty underrated slot receiver when he's actually able to stay healthy and when he's on the field. Now, a guy that I'm really, really high on is tight end Chris Herndon. Now, he's going into his second year out of the University of Miami. Had a very, very good rookie year for a tight end. I had him on my fantasy football team this past season. He was very productive for me. Had 502 receiving yards, 39 receptions, and four touchdowns. And I actually have him on my list as top 10 NFL players to break out for the 2019 NFL season. Because this guy is very, very good. Um, For a three-game stretch, he had one touchdown in three straight games during that stretch of three games, and that was very, very good. He was also targeted a lot by Josh McCown for a couple of weeks until eventually, I guess, he just started fading down the stretch. But him and Sam Donald were roommates going into training camp last season, so him and Sam Donald have a very good connection. And I'm expecting a big year out of Chris Herndon. I think he's going to be targeted a lot. Since starting out, he wasn't even the first or second string tight end. He started out the um, 2019 NFL season as the New York Jets fourth string tight end, actually. So he started moving his way up the depth chart. And eventually now he's the number one tight end on the New York Jets roster. And I think he's going to have a big piece of this offense going forward. And I think he's going to have one of the I think he's going to have a breakout season, man. Don't be surprised if Chris Herndon makes it to the Pro Bowl next year. I think he's that good.
The last guy on the offensive side of the ball that I have on this list is wide receiver Quincy Anumwa. He missed six games last year, had 449 receiving yards, 38 receptions, and caught one touchdown pass. Now, Quincy Anumwa was the New York Jets' best wide receiver, in my opinion. Now, even though he had one touchdown, he was that wide receiver that moved the chains a lot for the New York Jets. He was that guy that Sam Darnold would throw to on third down. And he was his safety blanket, basically. And Quincy Anuma, he doesn't have blazing speed, but he runs good routes. And he reminds me a lot of Eric Decker, but the black version of Eric Decker or the African-American version of Eric Decker. This guy has very good hands, a very reliable option on third down. And I think it's good to have a wide receiver that you can throw to on third down that has very dependable hands. A lot of people will prefer that, you know, they have a reliable tight end in that situation. But I think having good wide receivers that can move the chains consistently is a very important part of your offense. Um, you don't have to have homework threats at the wide receiver position to have a uh, effective wide receiving core. And Chris and Numar, he's a very consistent guy, doesn't drop a lot of passes, and I think he's going to be in for a pretty good season as well. Now, moving on to the defense side of the ball, we have safety Jamal Adams, who made it to the Pro Bowl last season. He had 115 tackles, three and a half sacks, one interception, and he had 12 pass deflections as well. Now, Jamal Adams, probably, he reminds me a lot of Chorpa Malu a little bit, the way that he's able to, this guy just flies all around the field. I'm not comparing him to Chorpa Malu, but I'm just saying the way that this guy flies around the field and makes plays i mean they line him up at linebacker they line him up near the line of scrimmage this guy is very versatile moves all around the field he's a ball hawk at safety he's a very good tackler so jamal adams is pretty much going to have the same production that he had last season um i think he'll make it to the pro bowl again because he is a fan favorite in new york and i think he's an impact player for the new york jets defense going into 2019 now, coming in on this list is defensive end Leonard Williams. He had 42 tackles, five sacks, and two pass deflections. Leonard Williams, to me, is the guy who needs to have a big season. Um, he only made it to the Pro Bowl once, which was in 2016, which was his best season, which was his second year in the NFL when he had seven sacks. And I'm j I just thought I would you would expect more out of Quentin Williams, given the reason why he was drafted so high a couple of years ago. And he just hasn't even hit double-digit sacks. The closest he came to that was in 2016 with when he had seven sacks. But I think a big reason for that is because I think he probably gets double-teamed a lot or gets a lot of attention since he was for a long time the New York Jets' best pass rusher on that team for a while. So I'm just taking it that he's getting double-teamed a lot. But that should change now with the addition of Quentin Williams and drafting Jacob Light in the NFL draft. I think Leonard Williams needs to have a pretty solid year. And I think he'll probably have about nine sacks. I'm expecting nine sacks from Leonard Williams this year. Um, that's my expectation for him. Nine sacks or more. And I think he's going to have a big season for the New York Jets. Defensive tackle Quentin Williams is also a guy who I think is going to have a big season for the New York Jets. The New York Jets took him third overall in this year's NFL draft. And he's going to have an opportunity because, look, he's going to have Jacob Polite. Pass Russian. Jacopolite was a first round talent. Then you're going to have Leonard Williams a couple of spots away from you on that defensive line. So he's going to have an opportunity to make a lot of plays. He's a very good pass rusher. Also able to stop the run very fast. A lot of people will compare him to Aaron Donald. And I think he's going to be a candidate for a defensive rookie of the year because this guy. I can see the Aaron Donald comparisons because he's very fast, very explosive. Not a guy who's going to bull rush you backwards, but a finesse guy who's going to beat you with his speed, which is pretty rare because you don't really see a lot of fast defensive tackles at the position nowadays. So, Quentin Williams, look out for him. Now, the last guy that I have on this list is linebacker C.J. Mosley, who the New York Giants signed in this year's free agency. He was a pro bowler this year. He had 105 tackles, one interception, and five pass deflections. I think he's one of the better linebackers in the NFL. I think he's top five at his position. Very good addition to that New York Jets defense. And it's going to be very interesting to see how he fits in to that New York Jets defense 
led by defensive coordinator Greg Williams, who was very had a very solid season with the Cleveland Browns last year. So Greg Williams is a guy, you know, very aggressive. He likes very aggressive linebackers, linebackers that are able to hit. Um, come up and make very good hits, very violent hits. So he's a very violent defensive coordinator, and I really like his philosophy. And C.J. Mosley, I feel, fits very well into that defense since the Baltimore Ravens defense was pretty aggressive and pretty physical. So that's it for this list of the impact players for the New York Jets going into the 2019 NFL season. Let me know what you guys think about this list down in the comment section below. Let me know about some players that you're excited to see and some players that should have been on this list as well. Also, Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.